Hey boys and girls, today we're going to be going over one of my favorite things in the entire world, place value. So by the end of this video, you are going to be able to identify ones, tens, and hundreds in a three-digit number. You are also going to be able to interpret models to determine a combination of hundreds, tens, and ones in a number. And you will be able to write a three-digit number in terms of varied combinations of hundreds, tens, and ones. And of course, our focus standard for this video is 2NBT1. Understand that three digits of a three-digit number represent the amounts of hundreds, tens, and ones. Understand the following as specials. A, a hundred can be thought of as a bundle of ten tens called a hundred. And also B, the numbers 100, 200, 300, 400, etc. refer to 1, 2, 3, or 4 hundreds. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to review is what exactly is a digit? A digit is a symbol that we use to write numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. All of those are digits. And where we place those digits are very, very important because we have place value. Place value is the value ass assigned to a digit based on its position on a number. So for example, I can place the number nine in the ones place and that nine represents nine ones. I can also place a five in the tens place. That five means that digit Five stands for five tens or 50. I can also put a digit three in the hundreds place. That three means that I have three hundreds or 300. When I put these three numbers together, my number that I've created is 359. Now, I can also use place value blocks to represent um, a number. So for example, this little guy right here, this ones piece, means one. I can have nine of these ones pieces right here. Oops. I can have nine of these ones pieces right here. And that means the same as the digit nine. I can also go ahead and have a tens rod. So one of these right here where there's 10 ones put together, stacked on top of one another. I can have five of these, and those five are going to represent the five tenths that I have, or 50. I can also use a flat. So this is a flat. Again, as you can see, it is 100 ones stacked on top of each other, or 10 rods stacked on one another. And I can have three of those, and by having three of those, I am going to have Three hundreds. I'm showing that I have three hundreds. Again, I have three hundreds, five tens, and nine ones here. Using the place value blocks right here, I can show three. I have three hundred fifty nine. Now, something really, really important to remember is that you can exchange ten ones for one ten. So, for example, I can take ten of these ones pieces, swipe them away and I can have one rod. This rod means the same as 10 ones pieces. Again, I can swap 10 ones for one rod and I would still have the same amount. With that also, you can exchange 10 rods for 100 or one flats. Again, 10 tens is the same as 100s. All right, so are you ready to practice? Go ahead and get your whiteboards ready. We're going to be answering some number riddles. So on your whiteboard, if you wanna create a hundreds, tens, and ones chart like the one I have on my screen, you certainly can. Let's work these out together. So we're gonna answer this number riddle. First, the ones place is worth two. So, the ones place is worth two, then that means it's worth two ones. So I'm gonna write a two in the ones place. The tens is between is worth between seven and nine. So thinking about the digits zero through nine, what number comes between seven and nine? You said eight, you are correct. So that means that I have eight tens. 
The hundreds is worth one more than the tens. Well, eight plus one would be what? Nine. So that means I have a nine in the hundreds place, meaning my mystery number is 982. Now let's go ahead and swap out our digits for our place value box. To represent my two ones, I need two ones pieces. To represent my eight tens, I need hundreds. All right, let's do another one. All right, so the ones place is worth one more than five. Hmm, okay, so a number that is worth one more than five is going to be six. All right, the tens is worth two more than three. Well, three plus two is going to equal five. And then the hundreds is worth one less than the ones. So that means I need to take one away from the six. So six minus one is going to be what? Five. So using my digits, my mystery number is 556. Again, let's exchange those digits for the place value blocks. So instead of writing a six in my ones place, I'm going to put six ones. Six ones is the same as writing the digit six in the ones place. I'm also going to go ahead and add five tens to show that I have 50 tens or 50 in my tens place. And then I'm going to swap. I'm going to add five flats to show that I have five hundreds. Again, I am showing that I have the number 556 with my place value blocks. All right, I think we have time for one more number riddle. Our final number riddle is a little bit more tricky, so make sure you're paying attention. All right, so the ones place is three more than the tens. The tens is worth four. And the hundreds is two less than ones. Ooh, it's two less than ones. Ooh, so instead of starting at the ones place for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the tens because I know that my tens is worth four tens or four. I also know that when I add four plus three, that means that I have a seven in the ones place. And then since the hundreds is two less than the ones, that means I'm going to be taking seven away from the two, four, five. So that means my mystery number is 547. Again, I'm going to go ahead and swap out the digits for place value blocks. So now for my ones, I'm going to put, or woo, let's start with our tens. For our tens, I'm going to put four rods. For our ones, I'm going to be putting seven ones of five flats. This number will show that I have 547. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.